Okay, I hear questions all the time. How, uh, why, when they they try to put a new board, you know, like that's unsealed, right? With the MC, it doesn't work well because it has a special bootloader that needs to be loaded. Um, let me cut this. Open. I'll show you what I mean. So this is brand new. It's not modified anything. So the thing is, if I plug it here, it won't, it won't do anything at all. And I won't be able to load the firmware I have on it. So let's see. Right. So. I think you just see the light blink there. That's it. So let's separate the boards. Okay. All right. So what I do is I have to load the firmware on it, which is done with my special jig here. All right. So I just add the LCD, the few settings, and uh, my programmer, which is a portable Z tag. All I do is to put in the port, right, and then I plug some power here, the USB, right. So. Let's see, now this is all waiting, okay, now let's start programming. I have in this program loaded the 2.1c version, which uh, as soon as done programming it will appear here on the screen. So this is modified bootloader, it won't work with Arduino, actually right now it's erasing the Arduino, it's loading a custom bootloader on it that allows the firmware to be updated uh, with a file sizer online. So, let's see, it will be done soon, as soon as the blue light goes off should be able to see it and now it takes quite time but still faster than plugging the GTAG on the computer it has a program to do it, it's just too much trouble to hook up and hook serial lines and everything. This is just a little gadget, it's just a touch it, it loads the firmware. It might take a little longer, but it's worth it. Okay, there it is. Uh, right, so it's loaded there, you can see it. Okay, so this board is programmed with the correct bootloader right now, 2.1 that I had here. Now, if I unplug this one here, and remove the screen, and I'll plug here the the board on top of it. Okay. Now let's plug some power on this. Okay. There you are. And then you have fully functional MC. That's how it works. So just remember, this is not the original Arduino. It has to be modified by me. If I don't load the bootloader on it, I'm sorry, you can just get a board out of internet and use it. Thank you.